What's up guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna show you how to replace the driver seat belt on a Ford Mustang years 05 through 08, 09 ish. Uh, this process should be exactly the same for the passenger side and I apologize, I already started. I wasn't going to take a video, but then I figured, you know what? It might help somebody that's in a similar situation as mine so my situation is after the accident the driver seatbelt got locked up and it doesn't roll out or roll in essentially doesn't move so first step is under the rear seat you could reach under and there's a black push pin type of deal you push on it and then lift up and then do the same on this side what that looks like so this is the rear seat and you see this black push pin right here. You push it up here and it will pop the seat up. From there, it's just kind of held like this. Slide it under and then pull it out. Super, super, super easy. Back in the car, I moved both seats up just so that I have maximum uh, working space. What you'll need to do is lift this part up and it's held by clips so just like that this part is glued on so all i did was pull back this inner piece and then i had enough wiggle room where i could do the same thing with this piece that goes underneath this plastic and this whole piece is held by clips so do the same here one, I guess, difference is this part right here. And it's a black push pin type of deal. Or gray, what you guys see on this side. After you do that, you will essentially have this opening spot, which will give you enough room to work. And what you'll need to do is take out a bolt right here. And what size is this? It's a size 14. And two of these bolts, which are T something. T50 is what's gonna get those two out. And there is two of them. One at the bottom over here. So this is where my finger is. You will have this plastic piece covering it. So what you do is with a screwdriver, prop it open. It kind of sits like this and then it goes down. So while it's still installed with a screwdriver, pop it open. This will expose it and then you'll need a T50 to take it out. And the other one is up here. The other one is up here on the inside, right by the door, so the pillar. And this is also a T50. So, three bolts. And the last piece is this plastic piece that kind of feeds the belt. And all you do is just pull it out and it kind of clips in. And that's it. Next, you have the small electrical pin right here. And to take this one out, you push it from both sides right here towards the top and then gently pull it out and it'll come out. So this is my new seat belt. Once you take out that bolt, it will literally just kind of come out like this. And then you use this upper portion, feed it down and put the bolt back in and tighten it. Sorry guys, one minor correction. This is a T50 and the one down here is a T50. This one up here is a 14 millimeter. Once you get that installed, you want to make sure that your seatbelt is working. The trick with seatbelts is they have to be positioned correctly. If uh, say it's kind of sitting a little bit this way 
or the other way it's going to lock up it's a safety mechanism so if the vehicle is rolling uh, or at a really really dangerous angle the SIBA will automatically lock up and it won't work so you know you installed it properly when it rolls out just like this installing this plastic trim is a little bit more difficult than taking it apart uh, but nonetheless not super hard here's the cover for this clips in and the last part is this t50 bolt which i will do right now now this rear seat is fairly light i don't know if uh the fabric one is a little bit heavier or not but the leather one is fairly light i will need two hands to position and feed the seat belts through these holes and then i will get back That's it guys, super easy with recording. It took me honestly maybe 20 minutes to replace. Uh, you don't need a lot of tools, more or less just common sense and a little bit of patience to get those plastic pieces off. Hope this video was helpful to you guys. I hope you subscribe and I hope you stick around for other videos. Take care.